Here in this next part, we're going to test out our combination of fours for the results of four, five, six, and seven. Well, starting with four, we're going to start with our parentheses. Four minus four is zero. So that leaves us with four plus four times zero to equal four. Order of operations tells us that multiplication comes next. Four times zero is zero. So that leaves us with four plus zero to equal four, and four plus zero does equal four. So again, that one checks out. So let's check our next one to see if we get a result of five. Inside our parentheses, we have four times four plus four. Well, multiplication comes first. So we have 16 plus four, still inside our parentheses, divided by four. Well, we have to finish off inside our parentheses. So 16 plus four is 20. So 20 divided by four to give us five. And sure enough, 20 divided by four does give us five. So five equals five, and that one also works. Here to check out for six, again, we're gonna start with our parentheses. So four plus four is eight. So that leaves us with eight divided by four plus four to give us six. Division comes next, so eight divided by four is two. That leaves us with two plus four. Two plus four does equal six, so six equals six, and that one balances out. Here in our last one, we're gonna start with division. Four divided by four is one. So that leaves us with four plus four minus one to equal seven. Addition and subtraction work from left to right. Four plus four is eight, so that leaves us with eight minus one. Eight minus one does equal seven, so seven equals seven, so those four work. Next up, we'll be doing the next four in this series.